Uh, I've been from the first edition and they make every year a tremendous effort to have a very clean, very uh, airy, uh, very qualitative uh, um, art fair that with a lot of effort to make it succeed. I think it's the only way because when people uh, really talk or dialogue with art, it's one way in order not to use arms. It's, this is where you can make a civilized war. Well, I think it's one of the rare niches where things are working and doing well, unfortunately, but uh, the, the, because of, of uh, the situation, the, the creative people feel in, in this huge need to, to produce and express themselves in order to remain. This is our only way to resist an otherwise uh, a crumbling uh, region it's basic it is you can you can start learning at a later age but it will take a lot of time when it starts with the young age it is really quintessential in order to form a, a, the basics for a good eye and a good trained eye while I'm not great at it I think it is definitely the future I think today it's extremely important to empower uh, a, a lot of uh, institutions, whether in the academic or the education or art criticism or art history or art museums, because these are extremely important to balance out an otherwise very prosperous and promising market, but which should not lead the art scene it should be a major component with other institutions to balance out. Canvas is, in the absence of any specialized uh, uh, public, uh, publishing houses and publications by universities, I think it fills the gap of uh, the serious magazine that covers the Middle East and, and really fills this vacuum. It's very important vacuum in, in terms of publication. Thank you. I love Canvas.